Right, we're doing something completely different today. We're over at the job, Adam's here, Adam's uncle's here, Mikey, and uh, he's actually the same age as me, I know he doesn't look it. <laughs> Tough paper round. What we're doing, this is carport, so you would have seen this on other videos. Up here, where the hole is drilled, is gonna be a sensor, so as the customer pulls around, there's three up and down lights going on the outside of these pillars. JCC have sent across four aluminium profiles for the LEDs. We've got 50 meters of LED strip over here with the drivers that are here and some up and down lights for a later date. We've got all these connections. But what we're gonna do, this is being uh, with the soffit board, isn't it, Mike? The anthracite stuff. So we're doing two lines in each bay. So this sensor will pick up as you pull in. It'll light this ceiling up. Same thing for over there. So the plan is, I'm gonna set you up on the tripod. We're roughly marking it out. Let's do exactly what we did before. So, it's gonna, go in, gonna go in here, but obviously with the profile we have, we need to make sure that it's sitting perfectly. We've never done this before, so we're all new to this. So, this one should fit lovely on here. If we bring that across, you can see from the camera, move that hand lad. Soffit board's gone in, be nice and neat. So as you see, when the ceiling's finished, it yeah, should get it. blend in beautifully. You can see there. All matchy matchy, nicey nicey. But all right, cheers lads. Oh, oh, carry on. But all we need to do is make sure that it's square. That's the biggest thing for us. It has to be square. So there's going to be one in this one, one in that one. We're going to get some more uh, lath screwed up. We've got some offcuts here with the laser. Figure that all out. Run our 12 volt cable. We have got a bit on the floor. Uh, what we're going to do, because all this is getting boxed in behind me, is if there's ever a problem with the drivers, we need to make sure it's accessible. So it's all being punched through here. You can see we've got a rod there. There's going to be a big AD box putting in because this is going to just be like a storage area garage underneath. Which a bit limited to height for tall people. But that's going to allow us to put all of the drivers in for both sides. We're also going to be running uh, like soffit PIRs, IP rate PIRs that are going to sit in the outside box in, which I'll run to now. But we're going to cut them apart a little bit. We're going to go in here. We're going to run. That's put in for now, but we're not going to be using this. We're going to be using the 12 volt stuff. That's also going to run back. I'll put a picture on screen now of what we're going to use for the uh, sensors. We're going to splice that, join that, will allow us to put the sensor, um, uh, the PIR transformer, wherever the hell it is, the box, also within this. So if we ever have any issues whatsoever, we can pull the PIRs out, there'll be a little Wager connector, we can put a new one in, or if the box itself is broken, it can be changed there. So we've got a maintenance panel to access stuff, everything, because once this is up, it's sealed, it's done. So, wish us luck, let's get the laser out, let's get some measurements and make sure we're absolutely bob on. So we've got two of these massive drivers, they are massive as well, careful. Uh, so they're gonna be going in there, and then we've got the 10 mil cable clip, strip to cable, 10 mil clips. Um, but we're planning, I'm gonna get these up and working today temporary just so we can see them working in the led profile right first job with the laser up running down here will be one of our first one i need to cut I'm make any more noise mate uh i'm gonna cut two meters worth of these we're gonna get them screwed and drilled up like these ones are have you got any more of these roofing bolts left or can i just use any screw it's not really matter we're gonna put these up frame this up first we've just run around as a team because we're a team aren't we guys we all work together to make things easier no there isn't the a-hole adam there isn't the a-hole where have I put my sharpie? Where'd you get your car from, love? What? Right, these are concrete screws and the torque bit, so we'll whiz one up, hold it in place, and help me drill the next one because Adam's too busy uh, taking pictures of his van. Can we just get some little screws to. No, it should be right. We'll support it on the next one. What are you doing? What? What you got that one for? So I can actually hear when I'm 30, like you two. You two are like, what? What? Right, we've got our first piece up. Mike, shift your ass to the right sec. Just, there we go. Yeah, laser's on, sound cool. Thanks, mate. Uh, what we're gonna have to do now, it does come with these brackets that you can just screw to and clip it up. But we're gonna put some holes in this. We're gonna use a little Bosch bit, one of the blue bits. What size we got here? Uh, four mil in the combi. We're probably just gonna do four fixings down that, but we're making so sure that this end is for our cable, so we're putting both that end and we're running the cables around that side to get this up. The lads are working things out to start getting the soffit in. So hopefully, this we can have one side sort of finished and we can sort of see what it looks like within a couple of hours, fingers crossed, if these two actually pull their fingers out. I just got the file off, taking some of these burrs off. Make sure it's sitting flat. What was it? 900, wasn't it? Just tap it in. Give it a little tap, tap, right, tap. Right, I'll do it for a sec, yeah? Well, you we get the other ones in. No, I've 
whizzy bang bang that up, mate, please. A few dugger duggers. That's it. Beautiful. That's absolutely bang on down there. And you get the N1 in, mate, and we can go from that. So, already, we're cooking. Not literally, I don't cook. I can make lasagna. Do you want me to make yeah, your lasagna, mate? That. Yeah, I'll start. I'll, yeah, let's get to work. So, Ads, have a look at these clip things. Put it in my handset, mate. Who sent you that, then? JCC, mate. So these two clips, instead of soldering it, one's got small prongs, one's got big prongs that you can slide in. Adam thinks, seems to think we could put the cable in there and then it'll then bite down to here. There's a 50 meter drum of it, absolutely mental. Show everyone your blood blister. There. Right, we've got it up and working. I stripped a bit back off that, so it sits in that side. Then Adam, go on mate. I just stripped back, peeled back the sticky, stripped the gel off the front, because this is like waterproof tape, I think, and then stripped it off the back as well. And then I put it in there and it's clamped onto those little prongs and pushed through onto them connections, like where you're going to cut it. Yep. Um, and it's on. So let's give it a test on the old battery, shall we? That's it. We're on. We're on. Sound. So we can undo that connect. Oh, to be fair, we can just leave that one on, cut this to size. We'll get this stuck in now and uh, see how we get on with that. And when these, uh, these pair of idiots catch up, we can um, move to the next one. Right, we've got a two meter. Yeah. We've got a two meter length, simple as cut on the line, which is there. <gasps> You're not going to cut that. Out. I am. I am. I'm going to start from this end. So I've measured it. It's ever so slightly smaller than two meters to this bit with the connection on. We'll start sticking it from that end <laughs> across. Shall we slide it along? No, mate. No, no, no. I'm all right. We'll pull it a bit more. Yeah. My eyes are getting cross eyed. I'm like half looking at the camera and half looking at what I'm doing. It's in, it's got to wipe it down a little bit. I think a nice. bit, bit of it dragged on the dusty floor. Uh, I've left this bit floppy for now. We're going to get the cable in there now, up, across, through this hole, back through, feed it here, redo the termination and just test every single one that we're doing. Back with the battery, I know it's not the best thing, but it's something we can test off. And hopefully, well, this wood's twisted a little bit. We can loosen the screw off if we need to. But yeah, we'll give this a go, and then we're just gonna do the same thing over that side, and uh, hopefully catch up in a little bit when they've got some boards in. So yeah, I'm liking it, Max. I'm liking it. So all the stuff we have done, we've just undone and redone it, only because we did this 900, this edge to this edge, um, but it sat here. So instead of us notching the board, we've just undone everything. We've just shifted it across. We've notched into the, the lip of the plastic there, just so it gets a good finish. But the first panel going in, slotted in, going across, and it means we can drop a few of our screws down, leave it in, screw it up, not all the way, because it will self-level this itself properly, because the wood is a little bit twisted. So as and when we get this next piece in over here, if we want to, we can go around and tighten everything, and it will pinch it all square and flat. So Adam's just nipped a screw fix to get some more of the 12 volt cable. So me and Mikey are man in the helm with putting the soffit board up. I've got no help him, hang on. You're helping the helm? Yeah, someone's got to help the labourer, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just thinking out loud here. I'm the one with the brain, remember? So, uh, <laughs> oh, this is the guy as well. So Mikey's the one that cut the plasterboard out and I did a funny short upstairs and we had a laugh about it. I had Mikey's permission. Didn't mention the 20 other ones that were all right though, did you? I haven't seen them ones. You'll have to show with this house. <laughs> is someone comments in, oh, you're gonna get on Instagram, someone comments in, you're gonna get knocked down site one day. I was like, yeah, all right then. All right, they've got some proper tools now. I've lent, I lent him the good bit of kit. Yeah, it's nice. Profiles are all in. Me and Adam have decided instead of going through here, we're gonna go top entry, just to be on the safe side. I'm stuck some sticky pads up there. So we've ran a 12 volt, like I said, to the sensor. We've got stuff going across over there, preempted. But what we've done as well to make our life easier is we utilize the heat shrink that we've got. So we've put a Bay 2 L2, so it's Bay 2 Light 2, Bay 2 L1, going across PAR up and down for the front lights. Like I said, we've got our, this isn't our feed, this is for the up and down lights. So the sensor will fit in here, we'll connect across, we can do it all here, and then we just run a permanent feed to it. So it's working really well. The lads are getting this here up nicely. So the next stage is we will show you once this ceiling is pretty much finished uh, finished 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 god i couldn't even say it right yet uh we will turn around and uh, get the led strips back in show you how the connectors work and then we can start putting the shades in and give it a bit of a, a bit of a blend unfortunately it still doesn't get dark until like nine o'clock ish now um so 
can be asked to come here at night time and have a look, we will. Amy the Sparks just rang me, it's been on the phone. Right, look at this, guys. Awesome, absolutely awesome. There's got a few more to go in. Adam and Mikey are just putting up the J trim around the edge here to then do this all again over here. Here we are, just for this bit. This is your bit, yeah? I'm not putting yeah, it in. Yeah, mate. No, 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 no. Table You've done it. such a great job, yeah. to be fair. Mikey, the board ended here, the, the soffit, so we managed to cut all this round. So fair play. For a labourer, mate, fantastic job. Well done. Best labourer you've ever Best seen. Best labourer ever. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to just get the, the clip up now, and we'll get this in and see how this looks. What we'll do with this, strip it down. Excuse you, whoever that was. Microphone would have picked that up as well. You might want to go and wipe that, yep, before it itches later. <laughs> it's hysterical over there, Who was man. it? Me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't cut this to length yet. We've got a little issue as well. Adam just livened up the light that I've put up over there just show the, the customer's wife and because we've got the connector here a good inch is not lit up in here and it's quite noticeable so what I'm going to do is take this back down get rid of all the cable and push all the cable up through the hole so we're, the only bit we're not going to have light on realistically is about what's that about 20 mil maybe towards the end the only thing that you can sort of do to try and match it is cut 20 mil off that side but if it's not on the joint you can't cut it so it has to be on that so I think the only thing that we're going to have that I'm not 100% happy with is a, this tiny dark spot at the end. But I can't see a way around that unless we take this down. Well, there is a way. We can multi-tool. If we cut a square out here because we know it's, there's a void above. No, it's not. There's the wood. The wood's above, but we can get a, a bit on in. On the new ones, we can cut it out. We can cut it out in preparation on that side. So right, we're just troubleshooting while we're with you guys here. We'll cut this out. I'm going to redo this. We've got lots of LED tape, but obviously you can only cut this to length, to my knowledge, where it cuts. I think, I think the only other way if we do it is we just try and cut an off cut now, yeah. in, not in where it says, just in the middle of an LED and just see how much lights up. But I'll just show you this now as we're on it, but that's, that's what we're getting at, is now that this is cut, through here, we obviously need our red on our positive, which is this side. So, it's popping this in. I just see Lindsay's head in the background. <laughs> the slot, popping that down, and that's that connection done then. Obviously we will then double check with the battery in a little bit at that end. But I'm gonna undo this now. I'm gonna cut a slot that side and that side because we're still waiting on the guys to do this bit and figure that out. And Bruiser here as well, already then. Right, so we just tested a bit for you and cut it. So we've cut it where it, it says not to cut, which means there's no return path, obviously if you don't cut it on them. So it's just showing that we cut it central there so that anything after won't work. So you have to cut on the cut, which I'm pretty sure I knew anyway, but I'd rather just show you guys. So that's what happens if you don't do to manufacture instructions, the end ones don't work. Would you like to see? Masters at work, right. So we've got that all the way into the end. So what we've ended up doing, we've just tested the LED to make sure it worked lovely. multi tool the hole up in the top here so we can pass this up, which will allow this connector to go all the way up and have an LED all the way to the end. So we've already done it on that side. We've got no dark patch whatsoever compared to before. So it's a win. So if it's something that you've got to do, maybe it's something JCC potentially gonna to have to have a look at um, unless we're doing it wrong then I will shut the hell up but yeah so we're gonna get this on we'll get the trim on we'll turn it on and show you it looks wicked that squadron's coming in look at them alrighty then and we got some beautiful lights nice that's gonna look wicked at night so as you can see all the way through no dark patch towards the end and no dark patch towards the end there so very good uh, we're gonna to have to wait now until yeah, I think we've shown it a few times, just. But yeah, it works a good. Technically, it, that should be a 12 volt battery, not an 18 volt, which I got crucified for on a video once. Never mind. And uh, yeah, so we've got to wait for them to crack on with that. We'll jump that side. But what we're going to do, instead of me having to retrofit and cut them, is before we stick these up now, we're going to turn around and cut the channels out in preparation 
so it's all done. So uh, if you're enjoying it so far, hit the like button right there. Subscribe if you haven't. 94,400 a month, something like that. Current recording date. Yeah. Let's bump them numbers up yeah. there, rookie numbers. Let's bump up to 100,000 and then we can have a party. All righty then, thank you very much. Yeah. Same again, isn't it? So, so. Right, because this one was we did it afterwards, we wanted to get a nice square out of it. We also realised it comes with heat shrinks, we've got some heat shrink on it, and it allows us to get a few more. Sorry, Michael, I'm talking, please be quiet. Um, <laughs> careful. About how the battery's dead, I didn't realise. Yeah, so the battery we actually tested as well to test them. We thought it was bright, you know, it was, it was sound. So it's daylight as well, so you could barely tell. Um, but we've just chucked a fully charged battery on it and the difference it made. So, there we go, there we have it. Check the trim on that. Adam's finishing that one off there, lovely jubbly. So that's the Easter done. I'll just give you a whiz round so you can see. Up, across, very nice. So what we'll do is, I've got another job to go, go and change the shower over. Probably looking at about three o'clock now, aren't we? Four. Christ, it's four o'clock. So. I'm going to get another job done and I'm going to come back tonight when it's dark and I can show you um, the footage of these on. So, see you in a little bit. Adam, you want to say anything for everyone? Bye. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, let me turn around and show you my face because uh, it's quite dark. There we go, torch on my phone. Um, it's just past nine. You can see it's quite getting quite nice and dark. I've just showed, if you remember after the vast video, I've come at the same time to show you the LED light in the tree. But this is the carport that we worked on earlier today. Pitch black and the LED lights that we fitted, which I've just noticed, have just turned on from a couple of videos ago. Which are all down there, all righty then. So we all know where we are. You see, it's dark, you can barely see me. They will be brighter than this because this is off the battery. But I'm just going to touch the battery on here. And now you've got, you can see my wonderful face, my beautiful beard, ish. So it will be a bit brighter than this, but that is looking great. The finish is great, see it's smooth across. We got rid of the dark spots on the LEDs by creating the holes in earlier, as you can see there. There, clean LED all the way across. Customers just come down. I'm just going to go and get, grab the customer's wife in a minute and show her them as well. Uh, super happy. It was worth a whole day spent on it because not only, you know, the stuff we need to do didn't take too long, but we helped them put all the cladding up off video and helped them out and figured all our wiring looms and everything that we've got to do for all our sensors for the up and down lights on the outside and the internal PIRs. So, as and when we can, when they box this in, we can get it all uh, linked up properly. We're going to do a video as well on the big AD box we're going to do there. I'm going to try and find a really big plastic enclosure with an open lid that we can start stacking our stuff in there, our drivers, our PIRs, uh, our controllers, and possibly timers as well, depending on how far we want to go with it. So if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next one. Also, JCC, legends. It looks wicked.